In this video, I'm going to walk you through downloading an extension from our website, installing it using Extension Manager, and then entering in your serial number so that you can start using it. So first off, I'm going to go to the WebAssist website and log into my account by clicking on the Your Account link. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And you'll notice I'm in the account center. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on the downloads link to go to my downloads. And now you'll see that we're in the download center. The top section of downloads has all of my products. I own the extension library, so you'll notice that I have all of the products listed here. Below that are the premium templates and the premium training that come along with the uh, extension library. So I'm going to go ahead and click on CSS Form Builder to download Form Builder. And you'll notice that now I go to the CSS Form Builder download page. Over here is a good section with additional help that you can download in PDF format if you're having issues with download. And you'll also notice that the serial number for my copy of CSS Form Builder is here as well. Near the bottom of the page, you'll notice the, the different sections of downloads. Uh, these are the groups of downloads. So there's a getting started guide, which is probably the first thing that you should download uh, for any product. Gets you started and helps you get going. Um, there's known issues, support resources, uh, release notes, other information about the product. I'm going to click on the second section, which is going to allow me to download the extension. I click on the link, which opens up the dialog. I'm going to click Save File. and it's going to save to my hard drive. Now that the extension is downloaded, I'm going to install it using the extension manager. I have uh, Dreamweaver CS4 installed, so I'll be using the CS4 version of the extension manager. First thing to note is to make sure that Dreamweaver is closed before I do any installations. I'll then go to my start menu, all programs, and here's Adobe Extension Manager CS4. Okay, I'll go File, Install Extension, and browse to the location where I downloaded my extension, the MXP file. I click Open, and it'll start installing. One thing to note is that the Extension Manager will ask you to accept the end user license agreement. When this box pops up, click Accept, and the installation will proceed. Okay, once the installation is complete, you'll notice that CSS Form Builder is listed in my list of available extensions and the checkbox is checked that it's enabled. Now that the extension is installed, I'm ready to actually start using it. So I'm going to open up Dreamweaver CS4, go to my Start menu, All Programs, Adobe Dreamweaver CS4, and I'm going to open up Dreamweaver. Now what you notice is that most of our extensions, when they're installed, you can find them under the Insert Web Assist menu. So if I go to CSS Form Builder, you'll see all the menu items associated with the product. You'll note right now that the uh, menu items are grayed out. Most of our extensions require that you have a page open before you can use the extension. So I'm going to go ahead and open a page. Okay. Now when I go back to the menu, You can see that the menu items are now re-enabled. I'll click Insert Form. And you'll notice that the first thing that CSS Form Builder does is ask me for my serial number. So I'll go back to the website and my Download Center and grab the serial number here and I'll copy it. And I'll go back into Dreamweaver and I'll paste it you'll see that the serial number is verified and then I'll click activate to make sure that the serial number I put in is authentic and genuine and once that is done you'll see that I'll be able to access CSS form builder as I expect hope this movie has been helpful thank you for watching